the WK181 has hit 500 rounds. Just yesterday, I finished up an extra 250 rounds. This thing is up to 500 rounds. So it'll just be a short update because, quite honestly, not much has changed, and that's a good thing. Uh, the rifle has continued to work extremely well. I've had no issues whatsoever. Um, the only updates I have to this are it's working, and uh, I've changed some of the furniture. The first bit of furniture that was changed, it's kind of minor, is banana mag. Um, I decided, what's the point of having a AK mag if you're not going to make a banana mag? So I took my P mag, the one that came with the gun, got some yellow, spray painted it. One side looks better than the other, admittedly, but it's all right. <laughs> I got some printer paper, printed a printer sticker paper, printed a Chiquita banana logo. There you go. Got a banana mag. This part's a little more roughed up because it's what goes in the gun, but it looks, I think, pretty damn good. Uh, and I, did, uh, I didn't film too much when I was uh, at the range earlier, but this is a uh, footage of the banana mag in use with a couple mag dumps, Canadian mag dumps. They always end too early in Canada, but oh well. Can't really do anything about that now. We're dealing with bigger problems. <laughs> That's about it for like footage. I don't really have much more footage because it's basically the same. Um, the only other updates that I've done is I changed out the K2 for just a regular MOE. Nothing wrong with the K2. I just wanted to try a regular MOE, see how the grip angle worked and like how it differed. Um, it's fine. It's probably better for an 18-inch rifle. It's not, like, necessary, but I don't know. I, I would keep either or. It doesn't really matter. I did put some hockey tape on the buffer tube to remove the stock wiggling, and now it's completely gone. Well, not completely gone. It's a bit this way, but in comparison to where it was, like you don't notice this at all when shooting and it is so much more uh steady and bonus if you have any facial hair at all i haven't had any facial hair caught in here now so that's nice and the other thing is the muzzle device now this is a tna linear comp and it's worked well for me, but I decided, you know what, I'm going to just take it off and see if I notice a difference versus just a blank, um, a blank barrel or a blank uh, muzzle with nothing there. And you know what? There's very little difference. Um, <laughs> it's having this, it reduces the recoil a little bit. But honestly, I don't think anything from the actual linear compensator part of it, just from the weight of it, because this thing is just under a pound. And it is a little quieter to the shooter's ears. It's not quieter, as in the decibels aren't quieter around it. But because all of the uh, gases are going out that way, they're not being redirected up or to the side. It's a little quieter at the shooter, but to no one else. And so it's a little better, but it honestly, it was not as big of a difference as I thought it was um, when I first got it. And maybe that says more about the, stamp, uh, the stock muzzle device that was on here, because in comparison, the stock muzzle device to this, I remember that being a huge difference, uh, both sound and recoil wise. So, honestly, I think maybe if you pick one of these up, just change out the stock muzzle device to literally anything or nothing. Um, you might enjoy it more. I guess just quick update, the Feachi's still doing well. I'm 
almost just as shocked as anyone else. You know, this I knew it would work on a twenty two. I knew it would work on a you know a single shot two two three. But seven six two moving action. You know, there's more violence to the way the action operates. It's holding up well. Like I'm, I'm not going to do uh, a full a review of this in a video about a different gun. There will be a full review on this, but it will be after I hit a thousand rounds on this, and after I use it on the K9 for a couple hundred rounds. I think at that point, I'd be you know, I'd be about. 12 fifth i'd be about 1500 rounds into using this thing on center fire rounds and about another thousand to 1500 using this thing on rim fire so i think at that point i can give a, a fair review on the feachi um but until then i don't think there's going to be a 750 round update um there's not really, unless there's something catastrophically wrong that happens in the next 250 rounds. Like, if in 250 rounds something goes really wrong, like the gas system breaks or, I don't know, something comes loose and it makes it inoperable, then I'll do an update. But if there's not, then I'm just going to wait until the thousand round, I hit the thousand round mark, and then I will do the thousand round review. That review, I don't know, that might take... A couple months it's just really the limiting factor isn't ammo it's um getting time in my schedule to go to the range and also having the weather be good on that day um i still have school work to do so <laughs> i can't just up and leave whatever to go shoot rounds drive an hour it's you know it's an hour drive there an hour drive back so it's not a quick activity i can just do but doing what i can to try and Get this thing to a thousand rounds. It won't happen before the end of February. Will happen hopefully before the end of March, though. That review will have um, update accuracy. I'll do 50 yards and 100 yard um, accuracy. We'll just look at the grouping because I zero this thing for 25 yards. I'm not going to re-zero it for 50 and 100. I'll just aim at a spot and we'll look at the grouping. Um, but that will be, you know, thousand round review and we'll take it apart, go detailed and see what, how all the parts are holding up. But for now, everything looks good. Banana mag is absolutely worth doing. If you can't, if you can buy these, I'm pretty sure was it Palm Mouse State Armory does these, um, themselves. Uh, I couldn't find any here in Canada, so, but they're really easy to make. I mean, it's like. A ten dollar can of spray paint and five dollars worth of sticker printer paper and you have this and you can make more than one right if you have extra mags you can make however many you want um but yeah recommend doing this try out different grip angles if you want wk is doing fine and until the next video thank you for watching